Hi guys, it's Patricia and today is Tester Tuesday, which is my favorite day of the week because I get to discuss two sensey cents with you guys and you guys help decide by voting at the end of the video. Now before we get to that, I just want to say I forgot to mention in my last video that I wanted to express my thanks for helping me reach 1000 subscribers. So thank you so much. I love hearing from you guys down in the comments. That's my favorite part. And also now that I've got to 1000, I can actually do my live videos again. So we'll be doing a live video probably this coming weekend. I will announce exact time and day that I will be going live in one of those little YouTube description things. I think I can do that now. And also I have a haul coming up soon, so I will discuss it then. But again, thank you so much. My favorite part about YouTube is getting to know you guys. So uh, let's get into the sense for this week. So the voting was really, really tight this week. Normally I can kind of see scents kind of creeping ahead, creeping ahead. I didn't dare try to start warming anything early because it was very, very tight. But in first place, we have a light orange wax and it is the scent of painted leaves. And this one had 22% of the vote, which is a low winning percentage for a leading scent. And in second place, we actually had a tie. It was between Amazon Rain and Davenport. And I thought actually Amazon Rain had it. So I, I announced on one of my subscriber voter, voters that they decided the second place vote. Later, I noticed a Instagram message. Most people just comment on the video, but I noticed an Instagram message. I looked at it, I was like a few hours way before and I'd missed it and it had Davenport, so they were actually tied again. So I went on Instagram, got someone to vote as a tiebreaker and they picked Davenport. It was um, Tammy H. Boyd who p picked first, but Everyone kept voting and they all picked Davenport. So this is kind of the color of the wax. It's almost like a light whitish gray. And that one had 19% of the vote. So the order it went Painted Leaves and then Amazon Raid and Davenport Tide. Then we had Peppermint Dreams, A is for Apple, and Cozy Chai. And Cozy Chai in last place had 12% of the vote. So everything was really tight. But let's talk about our first place scent this week. It is Painted Leaves. On cold, I would say this is about a medium to strong, maybe closer to strong scent. This is a retired scent from Fall and Winter. It first became available at the Fall and Winter Catalog 2017. Then it came around one more year, Fall and Winter 2018. It, it is not returning this year. I would put this in a category of a woodsy fragrance, but probably with an asterisk and I'll explain. The scent notes for Painted Leaves. It says wander through blue spruce, red maple, and golden woods. So sometimes scents cross over in categories, and this is definitely a woodsy fragrance, but it's also a fresh woodsy fragrance. I love this scent. Now, I'm going to tell you, I would never, ever, ever in a million years tried this scent, but people were talking about it, saying it was strong. I picked it up last season and fell in love. So I would definitely say there's lots of woodsy notes to this, but like I said, it's got a freshness. It's really hard to explain because I really don't know what, like, blue spruce and red maple and golden woods, I don't really know what each... <laughs> Of those scent notes smell like. All I know is this combines to a really nice fresh fall crisp scent like you're going outside on a nice fall day. You can feel the sun hitting you but it's cool. You can get that crisp air feeling. You can he hear the crunch of the leaves under your feet. You take a deep breath and it's almost like a damp woodsy smell but not like a bad damp like a nice crisp woodsy fresh leaf smell. I don't know how they captured it but they did. This is a really, really nice fragrance. I'm sad it's not coming back. Yeah, when they say painted leaves, it's a beautiful description because it does kind of give you that feeling of the leaves are falling. It's, it's such a nice fragrance. So let me just cut to the chase on how it did. Fragrance appeal cold and warm is about an eight out of 10 for me. Like I said, I would never have tried this scent. So always keep in mind, be open to trying scents that you may not Think you're gonna like because I really like this so much so that it's in my Scentsy Club. So I have warmed it before. I actually had it as one of the stronger scents in my open concept video. So I decided with my testers I would put it there because from memory it actually overtakes a small to medium room. So keep that in mind. Strength to throw in my large humongous open concept challenging area is between eight and eight and a half maximum and that was with air conditioning and fans going so I'm not sure if warmed in the fall, I think it would be higher than that. I found the first four hours were pretty intense. Then it kind of lessened over the next, you know, between four and 
14 hours. It was very tolerable, maybe like a six or seven out of 10. Then it started to dip. I actually left this in three days, 26 hours. I fell asleep with it um, overnight and when I woke up in the morning, it was very, very faint. The wax still had some smell, but wasn't scenting the room very well. Again, in open concept areas, you'll find that can happen. You can always take wax if you can't smell it in your open concept area, but it still has scent. You can take it and transplant it to a really hot, warmer that you may have, any small zone, and you might be able to get a little bit more life out of it. But yeah, this is scents, Scentsy Club worthy for me. I'll probably keep it in for a bit longer. I call this the palette cleanser for fall, and what I mean by that is a lot of fall scents have cinnamon and spices, and they're very warm. This is a little different. It's a little bit on the cooler side. Bright, cooler, fall, crisp scent. A nice break from all the spices. Be good to put in when you're getting bored of spices and you need a palate cleanser. You need to freshen your nose back up and kind of get to a level playing field. This will do it for you. So if you can find this or you picked it up in a flash sale, give it a try. Big, big area is probably better than small. Let's talk about our second place tie break scent and that is Davenport. This scent here, I don't have a bar to show you. I have my wax in my dish and these were my testers. And this is a retired scent. It's pretty light on cold, and I'm just gonna say there's a bit of a problem with this scent, so I'll get into it here in a second. Came out in fall and winter 2015. It was in the Scentsy Man category. I think it was only around for one season. So I'll read you the scent description for Davenport. It says, the warmth of cardamom, amber, and vanilla, complemented by artemisia and sandalwood, create a comforting, cozy fragrance. Okay, so that's a lot going on because we have a lot of scent notes. So cardamom, I'm just gonna break down the scent notes for you as briefly as I can. Cardamom is a spice, I looked it up. It's described as a citrusy, minty, spicy, and herbal scent all at the same time. <laughs> I know it can be used in baking a little bit, but more so in cooking. Amber, we talk a lot about amber, but I looked it up because I thought this is a good chance to learn a little bit. It's, I'm gonna read it to you. It's loosely described as a scent that is warm, musky, rich, and honey-like, and somewhat earthy. It can be derived from synthetic sources or naturally derived from resins. And obviously there's different types. There's like warm, um, golden, uh, white, that kind of thing. Vanilla, we all know about vanilla. I describe it as a scent that helps everyone get together and get along. It's a base note type of fragrance. Um, if you have noticed that vanilla extract has gone up dramatically in price, like last year and this year. It says that that is because it's hard to grow and the changes in the market in, in the 1980s, a vanilla was very cheap to grow. And then the vanilla farmer people weren't making enough money, so they kind of cut down on production. Okay, Artemisia, Artesmia, I can't say it. It's hard to pronounce. I looked it up, that's a plant in the daisy family. And last but not least, we have sandalwood. Sandalwood is used a lot in perfumes. It's very woodsy, but it's not harsh. And let me read it to you. It says most, most of them smell like a warm, slightly powdery and somewhat creamy wood. Okay, so all those things, it's a boatload of things. You put them all together and what do you get? I don't even know what you get because unfortunately my testers, I think went bad. So I've talked about this before. I highly doubt Scentsy would produce a fragrance from what I'm getting. So I, I have this one I used, this one I used, and this one I only used a bit and kept a little bit just so I could smell it. Yeah, it definitely has gone. So unfortunately I don't have a bar of Davenport to kind of use as my backup. But I thought, well, who knows? Maybe it's not really gonna smell like that in the warmer. So I put it in the warmer, I left it in three hours. It basically smelled like a slightly fancy crayon. Like I felt like I could get like a hint of sandalwood and a hint of amber. And maybe that was it with a lot of waxy crayon smell. So I've had this happen with like other testers. I think my dear Watson, it happened. Uh, what's that one? Coconut cotton, rosemary mint pretty recently. And I think just breathe. I've had some problems with certain testers. Some of them just, it's not that they go rancid, it's just that they go like a paraffin wax, stale. It reminds me of when you open a lotion and you can just tell the fragrance of the lotion has gone bad and it smells, you know, you probably all have opened a lotion that's too old and kind of gotten that smell. That's what this smells like. So 
Like I said, I doubt Scentsy would produce a scent that would smell like this. If they did, that explains why it's not around very long. But if you have Davenport and you really want me to experience it, contact me um, on Instagram. Message me and I'll arrange to uh, compensate you for the bar and shipping and I can kind of go over it that way with you guys. Let's get into drawing for this week's scents. I'm going to draw six scents from the box. You guys are going to vote for two different scents by Wednesday morning. I've been getting a lot of votes after the fact so you can always check. There's a pinned comment here on my YouTube video and it'll say if voting is closed or not. Vote by Wednesday morning. I'm going to tally the votes and warm the two top scents for you guys next week. Hopefully we don't have any more duds. I've never had that happen before. All right, scent number one for this week. Bergamot and Solar Drift Twig. Scent number two, Everything Nice. Scent number three, Mocha Doodle. Scent number four, Lemon Verbena. Scent number five. Orange You Glad. That's an old one. I perhaps should smell those. <laughs> and scent number six is Mountain Sky, also an old one. Now keep in mind, I've actually worn two harbors, which was from 2012. So those testers were seven years old and no problems. So I always tell you guys, warm up your testers, but anyway, let's just review the voting options for this week. It is Bergamot and Solar Driftwood, Everything Nice, Mocha Doodle, Lemon Verbena, Orange You Glad, and Mountain Sky. Thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. Thanks for supporting me. I really appreciate it more than you know, and I will see you guys in the next video.